I am Destructor! Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Destructor and coming straight out the, the intro, I do have to bring out an apology for not bringing an update video. I did have an update video planned when the season one update came out, but when I saw Discord and Twitter going mad for the Warface developers at how not really anything was addressed or new or old issues that were coming in that I just felt like it wasn't really my place to bring out our update video and be like, oh, the, this should be a good, good change for the game and this, that and the other. Because really it just didn't live up to the potential. With that in mind, I'm going to go through the problems and positives coming out of this patch. And what I might mean by that is not the nitty gritty patch notes, as in, oh, the problems that the fact the hit reg wasn't fixed or the freezes are back in <laughs> very big number. It will stem from those things, but it won't be those ultimate things. You'll see when I get into it. But in any case, I'm going to go into the problems coming out of this patch. So the first problem is, in my opinion, is the developer's detachment from the player base. And what I mean by that is that I would probably assume that the developers are working on the most recent console edition of either console, because obviously we're on PS4 and Xbox One. What I imagine is they don't have Xbox One original or PS4 original consoles, as I've seen a lot in Discord that people are getting freezes and all that sort of junk just based off the fact that they do have an original Xbox or even an Xbox One S and even on, on an S it has these issues. So I think the first real problem is because they're using an Xbox One X for an example or an updated w Xbox One or anything like that that there is a serious detachment between the developers and the player base because they might be working on fixes but they're working with the Xbox One X which obviously has a greater capability than the Xbox One's like going down the line all the way down to the original Xbox One that you got at launch. So that's my first problem coming out of this patch. Second is it isn't a developer thing but a player base and community issue. The notion of calling out for more content whilst simultaneously calling out for more stability. And what I meant by that is I could see a lot of people calling out for the season one content to come out very soon because otherwise I will leave the game, that sort of thing. But obviously on the, the other hand you had maybe the same person or different people saying but we want stability or I will leave the game sort of thing. So there is a real community issue where there is division over where we want to see the game headed. I obviously have the opinion I think and many people do and that's I think it is the right reason that people have this opinion and obviously the opinion is of having stability before more content coming out. But in any case, yeah, the problem is that we're divided over what we should have first. A third problem to come out of this patch is clearly the quality assurance of the developers, i.e. the QA, if, if you're going to bring it to abbreviations. Basically, there was not really much that they were doing to test the game, and really, it just it really showed like the amount that it felt like they were rushing, the amount that it felt like it's just 
what what's going on it's one of those things that it really showed that they weren't testing the game and they were just like they maybe tested it once and obviously you're not gonna get a good test case basically fourth problem coming out of this patch is minimal patch notes or bringing in what they stated in their recent developer blog is ninja fixes what i mean by that is fixing something or adding a feature but not actually including it in the patch notes so for one would be the aim assist changes that we've seen that they've severely reduced it or even that's not even aim assist at all showing that there are very minimal patch notes or they they give ninja fixes really shows that there's not a lot of communication between the team basically that like they did fix something or they did add a, something but they didn't communicate that on to whoever's writing the blog post in any case so that's another thing that came out last thing on the problem side is confusion on mechanics of season one so i think they probably hopefully will come out with this but there's a lot of confusion over the ranking system and like the points that you get it's really confusing like there's a lot of cases people bring out like they've come first and they've got mvp and all that but they've only got like 70 or 80 rank points whereas someone in like fourth or fifth of the team is getting like 130 rank points which really doesn't incentivize like being on top really it's one of those things i think there has to be a lot more transparency from devs around those sort of issues now you're thinking how can i come up with any positives from this patch i think these are definitely trying to scratch at the what the, what we what the problems we had from this update but obviously coming out as a positive in any case coming in with the positives or out of this patch i think this patch inadvertently removes people that weren't hardline to the game i.e keeping people dedicated to the cause and central to the cause around in the community because a lot of people coming out of this patch have been like I'm not playing the game until this is fixed, which actually would be fair enough if in the case that they can't actually physically play the game. If in other cases where it's like they're only just slightly unhappy, but it's one of those things that they, they just have to leave the game because it's been two weeks since the release of the game and they haven't updated or done anything, so I'm going to leave you can have those opinions it's fully in your right to do that but i feel like this is not helping the cause with the developers and especially when they've come out with a recent blog post saying that they will be coming out with hot fixes and stuff like that giving slight little changes within the game so hopefully people should be able to have a better experience coming out of this update so i think people jumping the gun and going oh i'm gonna leave now is i don't think it's very wise is what i mean my second positive coming out of this patch is the dev team realizing mistakes to make things better for their process so this was talking about the quality assurance process that they that i talked about earlier and their process of giving patch notes and ninja fixes. Last positive, I think, is, yeah, the overall feedback that the devs do give. They do actually want to side with the community rather than be something of, like, a distant figure in the background. Like, they do bring out weekly blog updates and, of course, coming out of this patch they have come out with blogs stating their apologies and what they are hoping to do in the future and i think that is a good way of being transparent with your player base so this has been my video 
giving my balanced opinion on the problems coming out of this patch and the positives coming out of this patch. If you've liked my video, it's a different sort of video rather than shaming the fact like hit reg and freezes are back. I uh, hope, hope you've enjoyed my sort of take on this patch and hopefully you can drop a like, drop a comment of anything you've liked or anything I could do in the future. That would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, please do drop a subscription, hit the bell, notifications, you know, all the jazz. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys next time.